Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today we're going to show you how to uh, put in a second hard drive. So we don't have a second hard drive on this computer. And see, this is uh, used and free. So it looks like oh my we God. have. I'm literally at the point now that it's about to be filled. Yeah, it is just about filled up. So we're going to have to do something. So what we're going to do is. Uh, install a second hard drive, a slave hard drive, was onto this computer. About filled the other day? Yeah, it was about that filled before. No, it wasn't. It's yeah. adding a whole bunch a day. Okay, so this is not good. The computer won't run. It'll probably crash if you I'll keep this going on. And, and uh, we, we don't want to put the hard drive in as the first hard drive because our operating system's on there. We'd have to reinstall the operating system. So we'll install a second hard drive on this computer. So let's see how to do that. Okay. Okay, so we went out and we got a hard drive. This is a one terabyte hard drive, which is a pretty reasonable size for now. And um, let's take a look at this guy. It's got the anti-static bag on it. You gotta be careful not to shock it too much. So we can tear it open. So this is a SATA hard drive. Most hard drives nowadays are SATA. And uh, these are the SATA connectors and the power for it. And uh, it used to be Let's take a look here. Used to be you had the select master or slave. Well, I don't see any jumpers on this drive. One terabyte. You yeah, used to have to tell them which one is the master and which one is the slave. So anyway, I don't see any jumpers, so we can uh I guess try hooking it up and see what happens. Best to power down your computer first though, so let's let's turn the power off on that guy. We're gonna shut him down. Okay, here's our computer, and uh, this is the the wall that opens up, the um, panel that opens up, and there's some some nuts in the back here that you can unscrew. They're they're all different, but let's take a look at those. We got some nuts here that you can unscrew at the top and the bottom. And you kind of twist those a little bit and they come out. And uh, then you can grab onto this panel and pull it back. Like I said, a lot of the boxes are different. So we can pull this panel out. And here's the inside of our computer here. Lots of stuff in there. Let's get a closer look here. So, okay, so let's take a look at the computer. So, here, up here is where your, um, your uh, optical discs are. They're mounted inside of here. And this is where our hard drive is. This is where our operating system and all of our data is. We have our CPU down here and this is the motherboard and here's your power supply up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in another hard drive. It looks like there's a SATA power plug here but there is no uh, SATA data cable. See there's a power plug and a data cable for this hard drive down here. We'd like to stick another one up here, but there's only a power plug. And so if we follow the data cable back, it goes and plugs into the motherboard. Right back there, there's a open SATA connection. I don't know if you can see it right in the middle, that white one. And so we're going to have to get a cable and plug into that. Okay. 
Okay, so we have our new SATA cable here. So let's open it up and uh, try plugging her in. Okay, so well, if you can see, here's the motherboard, and there's our SATA connector. And here is our SATA cable. And so we're going to take this and plug it. Make sure there's a little L shaped thing at the end of the cable. I don't know if you can see that, it's probably blurry there. But there's a tab that sticks out on one side, and you want to put that in line with the other one. So we're going to plug that into the motherboard. It sounds like it clipped. And uh, I probably should have got a right angle one because if we look at this other drive, it's right up against the wall here. Let's bring the light over here a little bit. Okay, so see, it's right up against where the wall is and it comes straight down. Our other cable is going to stick out, it looks like, so we probably got the wrong type of cable unless we seat the hard drive differently. So, see this one's straight in, so it's going to interfere with the wall here. We'll see what we can do. Okay, again, here's our old hard drive. We're going to stick another hard drive up here. And here's our new hard drive right here, the connectors. And uh, I'm just going to, normally you'd see there's screws on the side, you screw them in so you can uh, mount it into these bracket things. But I'm just going to stick it in and test it right now. I'm going to stick it in like this. I just want to see if this works. I may have to take that cable back and exchange it. And here's our... Okay, so we have our power connector here, and here's the um, plug for the disk drive. So we plug that into here. So well, the thing won't fit on once it's put in again, right? The um, side. Oh, I don't know, Sarah. Side won't fit. Maybe not. We may have to exchange this cable because this cable doesn't have a right angle bend on it. So, the other cable's got a right angle bend so it can come straight down. Here's our data cable that we plugged into the motherboard back here. And see, it's got a L shaped plug. I don't know if you can see that very well. L shaped plug. And that's got to go in the right direction into here. That plug has got to go in the right direction here for the data slot. see where the plug is. I guess it's facing down on this side, so we're going to plug it in like that. Okay. Yeah, like I said, this this cable is not a right angle one, so it's coming straight out, so it's going to interfere unless we mount the hard drive differently. Okay, you got another one? Yeah. So that the um, side can go on? Yeah, we might have to go back and exchange it. But anyway, so we got the cables hooked up so we can test it to see if it works. So let's turn the power on this thing. Where's the power up in front? Okay, there we go. Things starting up. And there we go. Let's boot, let it boot. Okay, so it looks like it's installing software for it. And this is on the second hard drive or the first? They're both on the same computer, Sarah. So what's the difference? Hmm? Uh, there's no difference. It's just more memory for the same computer. Hmm. Okay. Your device is now ready. seeing it. Okay. Your device is now ready to use. Okay, Western Digital. Okay. Okay, so we're not seeing the new hard drive on our computer. 
And if we go to Properties, Control Panel, oh, let's see, System, Device Manager, and we go over to the disk drives. We can see the old disk drive that was in there and the new one we just added but it has not been formatted or partitioned so we're going to have to do something to make the computer recognize it. Should I just look it up? I did. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have to uh, partition the drive. So we're going to go to Start Menu and we're going to paste this in here. C-O-M-P, let's take a look at what we got here. C-O-M-P-M-G-M-T dot M-S-C, okay? And so when we do a search on that, it comes up with this guy up here, just one icon. And uh, here's our uh, computer management uh, screen. And if we look over in this right column over here, it says uh, disk management. We click on that. Okay, you must initialize disk before Logic Disk Manager can access it. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the GPT allows for nearly unlimited amounts of partitions, where the other one had, has just a partition and a boot stored in one place. So I guess we will try uh, doing the GPT and see what happens. We're going to, uh, so we have this graphical representation down here and all these are our original disk I believe, and this is an unknown disk over here. It says unallocated, and so we're going to right click onto that. Okay, so now when we click on this volume down here, it now has this new uh, simple volume, which is uh, I think what we're going to want to do. We click on that, and it comes with, with some kind of wizard thing here new simple volume. Okay, so that is, I believe that's a terabyte, that number up there. I'll just leave it as what they're suggesting. Okay, and uh, I guess it wants to call it E, or we could ch change the drive number. Uh, could call it drive Z, I guess. What the heck, right? Z is a cool number. And... We will click Next, NTFS, uh, Quick Format. Okay, the file format will be NTFS, I guess. And so we'll click that and Finish. Okay, so now it says it is formatting. Uh, it now has a new volume, Z, and it has a uh, Claims it's been formatted, so let's get rid of some of this junk here. And let's uh, check our comp uh, computer to see if. Uh, let's get a new window here, a new window explorer. And look at that. Under computer, we now have drive C and a new drive Z. And if we look at properties, it's empty, and it has 931 gigabytes. Okay, so that's going to be a lot better than what we had before. Okay, so it looks like we have our new hard drive all set up in our computer down here. Looks like he's running properly. And, uh, anyway, this is uh, Dr. Jane's here, and thanks for watching.